What is up everybody and welcome to today's video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Zach. This is SC Fishkeeping and I appreciate you stopping by. If you saw my last video, then this tank right here, this beautiful work of art, if I do say so myself, probably looks familiar. The tank behind me right now is my 150 gallon musky tank and uh, the musky's doing well. So there's the muskie now, as you can see, absolutely beautiful, settled in great, but there's one problem that I've noticed, and it's that this area right here should be like this. And the reason that it's not is because we haven't fed this fish since we moved it out of its old tank and upgraded it to the 150 gallon here. And I figured we should absolutely do that together on camera for the first time. And that just means today is going to be a super straightforward video where nothing could possibly go wrong. Wait, did you hear that? It sounds an awful lot like uh, splashing water. Oh my. Yep. That's right, my incredible, beautiful pond is uh, leaking. How exciting, right? <laughs> no, you're probably wondering, Zach, your pond is leaking. Why are you laughing and being so cavalier about it? And that's because this pond and I have developed a very unique relationship. A relationship where just when I think everything in my hobby is going well, this guy likes to leak. And then I come up with a plan to fix it and then it just kind of stops. So now I've developed a foolproof system to test the level of severity to see how much we actually have to worry about all that water. So first thing I do, I check the faces of the fish for no other reason than they're cute. And you can't see them, but that's okay. We're gonna, ah! <laughs> it was premature, but I knew it was coming. <laughs> Anyway, so you can tell with the water, it's not coming from underneath our filter there. It's not coming from any of the hoses. It's literally just coming from like this corner. So it's coming from somewhere over here, but this seam right here is fine. So it's coming from underneath, getting underneath my little foam pad here. And you can see just kind of pushing out there. So this is what I do. I grab some uh, sidewalk chalk and kind of just do like a rough little, I don't worry about the splashes because I made those kind of a little outline of where the water is, so that way I know this is now. Then, let's say it gets to here. That's like a, uh-oh. Then let's say it gets to like here, so you can see as we look between my legs. This would be a lot of water, so that's, no. Because this is like, I need to take care of this right about now. Now let's say it gets all the way over here to the carpet. This is like mother of God. So yeah, the goal is to not reach Mog, but honestly, it's all the way down there. We got, we got some time. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna go to Larry's place. Don't move, let's go. And just like that, here we are at my favoriteest place, LNA Baits here in Omaha, Nebraska. And this is where I get anything that I use as like a live feeder. And there it is in all its glory. So each one of these has different uh, fish in it. So it looks like we have uh, small minnows, medium minnows. There's large ones over here. So there's some big chubs down in this one. He always has some really big goldfish. Oh yeah, look, you guys see what, whoa. Woo! It's like behind the scenes, you guys get to see how the, uh, how the bread is made or <laughs> for that thing. So what you do, take your little scooper, you pour it down into your bucket. I hope you guys can see that. I put my phone away, take the net, and just like that. You have fish, then get a little scoop. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then you come over here, you say, I got five scoops of the minnows. Or no, what did I get, six? I don't even remember, play the footage. Six, grab some cash. 
stick it in. I'm not going to lick it. Drop it in the envelope. Grab my phone so I don't forget it. Grab our bucket of fish. And we are out the door. It's really as easy as that. This place is open 24 hours a day. It's open seven days a week. And it is all self-service and honor system. Which is honestly awesome because how many places in the world that we live in today, squirrel, could function as an honor system and it's just like in his garage but so for me it's an amazing system an amazing owner and he's got some honestly just really high quality healthy fish that i don't have to worry about feeding to the ones that i have and let's be honest i am having way too much fun with this new camera but we got our fish we got a hungry hungry musky and uh, i think we're gonna feed some other stuff too so we will pick this up when we get home, all I gotta do is focus on the road. All right, I gotta jump in here. It's been a few days since all that footage that you just saw, and I wasn't planning on taking a few days between the filming of that part and the rest of the feeding the muskie, but something pretty horrible happened, and uh, I'm gonna get into that at the end of the video, so if you're um, a fan of just me or wanna know what I'm talking about, uh, just stick around to the end of the video and I'll get into that. But for now, the minnows have been down here in this aquarium. Beautiful thing is there are no dead minnows in this tank, which means it's set up and we have nothing but healthy food options for our muskie. A quick check of our leaking pond. And as you can see, just like I thought, things go wrong at home, the pond leak dries up. Now, the reason that you're all here, let's get some minnows into a musky and you know we're not going to reinvent the wheel here we're just going to take our net just going to grab a scoop of our minnows i got one two there we go that's better we got a few just going to take it over to the net or take it over to the tank rather and we're going to drop them in with some sand that's a different color and then we wait. We wait for the muskie to find them. We possibly have to wait all night. He's up there doing musky things. Let's get some more minnows. He got one while I was getting more minnows out. Hopefully it was on camera. That was a lot of water. It wasn't on camera, I'm sure. It's so interesting to watch because he doesn't just rush in there and try and get them like uh, some walleye that I've kept in the past did. He just kind of waits and he waits for them to come out and you can see, I mean, his body's pointed right at where he's gonna go. And then he just waits to make a move. There, you got him. So I know not everybody likes watching live feedings, but stuff like this is so interesting to me because I like to imagine that this is how he acts in the wild. And I'm not showing the part where the fish is just hanging out of his mouth um, and he's taking his time with it. Uh, I don't like to show that kind of graphic part of it. Um, but then he turns around and he gets it down. And there you can really see the two that he's had down in his stomach. Just such a good looking fish. So he's had two minnows so far. It's been about 10, 15 minutes of me filming to just get that maybe one on camera. I forget, some of these just, whoa. And now he's hiding. <laughs> I was gonna say, some of these little bait fish are actually really good looking fish. And I always think when I see them up close like this that I would love to make a tank of just these guys. And then I remember that I had that over here, but those minnows are the reason that that guy is so fat. And honestly, I don't know if he's making a little nesting bed there or what, but 
it's interesting to watch him because I would kind of like to see some uh, maybe some spawning or breeding activity happening with them. So let me know down in the comments if you would want to see me actually try and set up another bait shop fish tank using maybe more minnows than things that eat the minnows. Let me know down in the comments. But this guy might be done. He seems very fat and quite happy here as he swims off into the corner to uh, avoid being on camera. But you can tell his belly is full and he is looking good and he's kind of just not paying any attention to the minnows again, which does make me think about how feeding the muskie is very different than feeding this pond. <laughs> but still cool in its own way. I'm gonna start wrapping this video up though, so if you came here just to see the muskie eat, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry that the muskie doesn't go into some big huge feeding frenzy like uh, a bass would, but hint hint, we're gonna get back into them soon. So thank you for watching, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Um, I wanted to do more with this video. I wanted to do more feedings, feed some of the big catfish, show off the long ear sunfish, the perch, and some of the other fish. But I mentioned something really bad happened the other day and that's just kind of got me needing to wrap this video up so that I can edit it. It is 11.39 on Tuesday night. This video is gonna come out on Wednesday morning, so in just a few hours. And when this video drops, I am actually going to be taking my greyhound, my almost 10-year-old greyhound, to the surgical center to have his leg amputated. On Sunday evening, we came home from watching the Super Bowl over at my parents' house, and the greyhound, just like he always does, he was excited to see us, and, and well, my wife walked in first and he jumped to see her, and he just came down, weird and she called me and said that he's bleeding. I got home and saw that he was uh, bleeding and my wife and my two daughters were in tears and my wife said that she thinks he broke his leg. So I rush him to the emergency hospital. I spend about three, four hours there and they do some x-rays and she says that, well, yes, obviously his leg is broken. It punctured the skin, but he also has a tumor on his bone, in his bone. He has an osteosarcoma. So my greyhound, for those of you that don't know what that means, has bone cancer. And unfortunately that means that his bone in that leg was deteriorating, it was weakened, and that's why it broke under just normal circumstances. Um, with that it means that they can't go in and repair the leg by just doing like a metal uh, kind of plate and then some pins through the bone to fix it. Uh, because you'd essentially be attaching a metal plate to something that's falling apart anyway. So our options were to uh, amputate and take away the excruciating pain that he is currently in and hope that the cancer does not spread or look into things like chemotherapy or some other drugs to potentially slow that down or put him down. And obviously we did not want to do that so uh, it was a lot of tears and a lot of hard conversations to come to the conclusion of going with the amputation route. And so tomorrow morning, like I said, when this video drops, uh, he will be starting that, that process. So the only reason I tell you that is just because talking through it is my form of therapy. And even if it's just me sitting here talking to a camera on a shelf, it helps me cope by being able to talk about it and sharing that with you. Um, like I said, it's my therapy, so I appreciate it if you guys could um, just send me some, some prayers or some well wishes or just anything. Um, I would appreciate it because, honestly, it's going to be a, a tough day tomorrow. Um, he'll be there for about 30 hours before we pick him up, so it'll be Thursday afternoon before we get to see him again. And, obviously, uh, if you don't know much about greyhounds, they don't always do well with anesthesia and stuff like that. So, like I said, some, some well wishes and stuff would be appreciated. But uh, I got to go deal with that. So I'm going to edit this video so you guys can see the musky feeding. Uh, thank you for putting up with all my rambling, as you always do. I love each and every one of you. And, uh, yeah, I, I think my next video I'm going to buy some new fish. And I might actually tell you about that new channel that I'm going to start. So a lot of things to come. I appreciate each and every one of you, like I said. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon!